So I don't know about you, but I am excited about tomorrow. Tomorrow is Easter Sunday, and it's going to be an awesome day. Why don't we take a minute to look in the scripture to see what it says in Mark chapter 16 about Jesus. So starting in verse 2, it says, Very early in the morning, on the first day of the week, they went to the tomb at sunrise. They were saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone from the entrance of the tomb for us? Looking up, they noticed that the stone, which was very large, had been rolled away. When they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe sitting on the right side. They were alarmed. Don't be alarmed, he told them. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See the place where they put him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter. He's going ahead of you to Galilee. You will see him there, just as he told you. So for right, right from the beginning, when Mary Magdalene and, his, and Jesus' mother Mary are going to take care of him, after he had died, isn't it awesome immediately that he is not there? That he is up and out, he is risen. And that is what is so exciting about tomorrow. Because an angel of the Lord was sitting there in the tomb to tell them, and then what did he tell them to do? Go and tell the disciples that Jesus is not here anymore. He has risen. So I'm excited for Easter. This day of the year that we get to celebrate that Jesus did die, yes, but he's not still on the cross, is he? The tomb is empty and he is alive, and he is my king and my savior, and I hope he is yours as well. But if he isn't, I would challenge you to reflect on your life. Do you know Jesus as your personal Lord and savior? If not, why not? And if you do, think about somebody that doesn't know him, because I guarantee you someone needs to know that there is hope in Jesus, and they need to know the good news that he died, but he rose again to save you and me, because he is all we need.